Hello viewers, I'm SP and welcome back to Taiji, uh, where I spent a little bit more time sort of looking at this area and trying to see if I could figure out anything else that might represent a solution to this puzzle that I haven't been able to figure out here. And the answer is no, I have no idea. No idea what that could possibly be. We're just gonna go somewhere else, we'll come back. There are many things to resolve here in this world and this is just gonna remain one of them for the moment. So where was the last place? Here we go. I was gonna say, where was the last place that the path branched? Yep, this is something I don't know anything about for sure. Uh, okay, don't know what to make of that. We can probably solve this though. Right, because yeah, these are five across. No, sorry, these are, those ones are not supposed to be outlined. Uh, so we fill in the white shape, we fill in the blocks that are wholly surrounded by the black shapes. So this should be it, right? No. Is it not? Because here's the, here's one of the black shapes. Here's one of the black shapes. Hmm. Did I forget how this works already? That seems like it should be right based on my understanding of... Okay. I was like, you know what? I realized I don't know if a, if a space that's only cornered by black shapes would be filled in. Well, I don't know. Hmm. Okay. So my thinking there was, well, what about the shape? What about the spaces that are, the other spaces that are outlining the black shapes? It's kind of like fiddling around and trying those. This worked, but I don't have any idea why. And it definitely shouldn't have, right? Because, at least by our by our previous understanding of the rules, what would be the reason that this shape would need, this space would need to be filled in, but not this one? And the same, this one, but not this one. Is it any space where there's a larger number of black squares adjacent to it than white squares, maybe? Because these spaces are more, more white neighbors than black neighbors. Maybe that feels very... Because, like, it distorts the shape in a really weird way that's inconsistent with... Well, I mean, it worked, but it definitely was just like a, I don't know, guess and try stuff solution, which I'm not a huge fan of. Uh, these windows have... a couple of these windows have patterns in them, I guess. Right, slowly filling in more of the map. I do wish that on the map, finished areas were marked in some way. Uh, see my puzzle brain? My puzzle brain is all, it's all a, a flutter now. It's like, oh my God, do the patterns in the bottles mean something? Do I need to remember this? Maybe, maybe yes. Uh, What could that be, that shape be referring to? So it's five tiles wide at its widest. Well, it's six tiles wide, only five of them used. And then it's also... Is it this space here? One, two, three, four. No, it's this, this rack is not big enough to contain that. Hold on a second. Okay. Huh. Okay, so we can draw a shape in the flooring here. This thing isn't isn't actually tall enough to represent the space that we're seeing over here either, right? There's too many rows. Yeah, you would need a thing that has at least six. Hmm. 
Okay, this one is not leaping to my understanding immediately, and traditionally our move in such a circumstance has been to just bail out. Just keep looking around. We'll, uh, we'll come back to the tricky ones. Interesting. There is a fork in the road leading off just to nowhere. That's certainly curious. Okay, more of these. So, by our current understanding of the of the thing, modified by the tiles we just saw, this will not work. I guess that that was true either way. Like, right, these two would have to be lit up because we knew that tiles that only uh, spaces that only had black blocks adjacent to them needed to be lit. means this is fairly easy. I'm waiting for one where we can actually test that assumption. Okay, well, I mean, that was very simple and also it doesn't seem to have accomplished anything. It was just, it was just sort of there. Oh, hmm. Well, this is interesting. Uh, maybe because I played the witness, my immediate thought here is that these maybe represent the uh, the way the trunk of this tree branches in some way. I think that may have a lot to do with the fact that there was a set of puzzles in the witness to work that way. But, like, how would it be representative? So it's two large horizontal rectangles, which represent, like, the tree tops. So if we... Like, sort of, right? If this is, like, the trunk here. I don't know what I'm trying to represent, though. Yeah, it's pretty... If it is supposed to represent this, and I can't imagine it's not because you know, of the way the camera centers here, it seems like it would be doing so in a pretty abstract way. Are there any other puzzles around here that look like that we can maybe try to like glean something from? Okay, that's a dead end. Can we... Also a dead end. I thought maybe this kind of looked like a, um, like a cave mouth. Oh, hey, this is going to get us underneath here. Well, well, hell. We haven't learned how to do this kind of puzzle at all. I do think that that one is probably a little bit too complicated to be trying to work out the mechanics on. We, we should figure out how those symbols work and then come back. All right, so these and this. No? Hmm. Okay. I feel like that is directly in contravention of some of the puzzles we saw yesterday. and Maybe I'm misremembering them. So we definitely had puzzles, I guess maybe we didn't have puzzles yesterday, where the number of black and white blocks e uh, adjacent to an empty space was even. Maybe it was always either more white space, more white blocks than black ones, or, you know, just only black ones. Alright, sorry, not this one, that one. These two are open... This one has to get filled in. Okay, so that doesn't work. But why not? What is the rule that I am misunderstanding? So these are the ones that are actually white. I was not expecting that to work.
Hmm. Just sort of poking and prodding at it. Why is this space filled in, but this one not? How do I make sense of that? Because the rows are identical. So it has something to do with their context. Maybe it's because once this is filled in, this space is adjacent to more filled in spaces than not. Maybe you're supposed to like process the puzzle uh, one block at a time, like from the top to the bottom. Hmm. I will say this is a thing we've seen already in a couple of places. This game is just significantly worse. I feel like at teaching its rules than the witness. And that's not necessarily even a bad thing. That's not like calling out a failure. It may be the case that that is intentional design. Like it is choosing not to, um, not to teach as clearly for whatever reason. Okay, that opened, but I have no idea why. Okay, let me stop flashing. Let the, let the puzzle reset. Okay, so these are like path drawing puzzles, it would seem. Nope, diagonals do not work. Well, then how is this possible? Can we like draw the negatives of a path? Yes, okay, so they don't have to be connected by lit up spaces, they just have to be connected by spaces that are all the same degree of lit. And we're pairing them. So, okay, yeah, just making clean pairs. So we, we want to avoid connecting more than two at a time, I think. So like this is, this or its inverse would both function according to those rules. All right, that seems to be holding. I, I dig that. Um, hmm. There we go. How about that? And then this one, we just need to like checkerboard it, right? These are like somewhat interesting. Uh, so if this is dark, and this is light. This won't read correctly, even though, like, technically there is a dark path here and a dark path there. It won't work because these four pieces appear to be connected. Whether or not there's logically a way to draw it so that they are not. Uh, what about... Will this work with the sort of the dead space here? It's not... that doesn't actually need to be part of this path. Okay, it will. Because it's not about drawing paths, it's about making the pairs connect in a distinct way. Okay, we can work with this. I can work with this. Huh, can I not... I don't want to light this tile up though, right? So how do I... Okay. So if it's gonna light up everything we walk on, we have to separate these 
more intelligently. We're starting, we have to start with the tile in the upper left, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have to start with the tile in the upper left, so to carve these apart into to uh yeah. Ah, and then the raft moves along the path we drew. Which is interesting. So this shouldn't work. And will this work? Because there's only one pair of blues and one pair of yellows? Yes, okay. So like this works too then, right? Yeah, we can group them together as long as we're not grouping multiples of the same color. How do we do this one? Right, like this is not going to work because these don't, yeah, those don't read as paired. So how do I separate these appropriately? I mean, the problem's like in this block, right? How do we make... We can't do anything like this because we're... Oh, no, no, actually, sorry, this totally works. Yeah, yeah, this totally works because this is an isolated shape with one of each, one pair of each color. All right, and then this has to be the same color. The grouping containing the black and blue spots is going to have to be the same color all the way through, right? Because they both effectively have to wrap through the middle or, or wrap all the way around each other. So this then. Yeah. Uh, and then that power goes uh, upstairs is where it goes. It is definitely way harder to read these environments in two dimensions. Is it okay to have a bunch of dead space? It is. Right, we just need to break up the two unfilled groups. Oh, right, yeah, sorry, if I do that that way, I'm connecting the two side groups. This should work, though. Oh, and then this is interesting. So we have to do something like this, right? And then these have to be broken up. Yeah, just gotta make sure Make sure we're running a single colored group through the center again. So now that we know how to do these puzzles, there's a couple of things that were not open to us before that definitely are now. Uh, all right. So the central challenge of this one is going to be connecting the blues in the corners. Nope, that's not gonna work. There's a there's a roadblock over here. So you need to connect like we could go through the middle like this, and then we just have to grab an extra Well, no, shoot. So because there are two yellows that are stuck in the darkened state, we have to Either let those two match and go around them somehow, which we cannot do. Let those two match and then like pull the other two out into a lit grouping. Or all of the yellows have to be unlit. Which I think we can probably... Uh, no, never mind. Because we're going to have to go through the middle tile with this blue group. We can't go around the outside here because of all the, the white dots. So... All 
right? Something like that to start with. And then I guess, you know, okay, if we compress the symbols like this, both of the dark yellows are still in a single contiguous shape. So, dark yellow, dark black. You know, you have to do something approximately like this, but you have to include the blues in the same shape, or the same um, color grouping, without completely locking these off. So maybe it's more like... Yeah, there we go. Okay, and then that runs off somewhere into the distance that I do not know how to get to. It's easy enough to get this thing to go back. How do I get it to not always be at one of these corners. Well, actually, does it matter? Can I get over to the right on the, uh, the top? Okay, yeah. Never mind, it doesn't matter. This whole area is open. Okay, this is different. Alright, so we solved one of the lines that's leading to this garage door. I guess let's work on these others. I mean, that's a nice clean one of each. But if we do that, this has to be dark. And this has to be dark. Yeah, I don't think this works. Because if this, if this purple in the corner is dark, then we have to leave like this shape open. And if this is like this, then this yellow has to be dark, which means we have to leave like a shape like this open. And that's, we're gonna end up combining three whites, no matter how we do that. Uh, what if we did something a little bit more? So I need to connect to this purple, but I need to do so without locking an odd number of white cells over here. So if we do that, that's problematic because there's no way to break these shapes up. This bit has to stay dark and that means, yeah. This one immediately feels tougher. All right, what if we connect these purples? we did that, see, yeah, this, we're going to run into the same problem here where the way the white dots are spaced out is just too, it's too troublesome. So there's three pairs of white dots and four of those white dots are adjacent to each other, which means we have some really important bordering work to do over here. If these two are matched, then all of these spaces also have to be matched because otherwise this yellow can't connect to anything. Uh, but that's immediately impossible because there's no way to get out of here to pick up an additional purple without picking up a third yellow or white. So we know that these two don't. These two don't belong to the same grouping. This could all be lit. Well, no, these two would have to both be dark because otherwise you're going to run into... Well, no, you're not going to run into problems here necessarily. What if they're both like... What if we make them both light? This is dark. No, we have a problem with the... the yellow cells on the opposite corners. Yeah. So that doesn't work. But 
but these two would have to be paired, so I think it's also the case that those, those two white cells are definitely not grouped. Which means this is the way this grouping has to work. And then you have... No, I mean, that's problematic too, though, right? Yeah, it, it can't be like this, because trying to connect this yellow cell out, you're going to run into problems really quickly. The, these two white cells can't both be dark in this configuration. So, this white cell on the right wraps around here and links up in some kind of way. That doesn't work because we can't connect the, uh, this is problematic. And obviously like starting this way is pretty tricky. You're gonna get into a lot of trouble with these purples. I do feel like digging in around the, the four white cells here is probably important. This is probably the right way to approach this, but I am actually not seeing the solution here. Hmm. How are we going to manage these cells? We can't just wrap around the outside of them unless we're very careful because we have to be we have to be cautious not to leave three white cells together in this corner. But it's tough to pick up the purples we need without determining an awful lot about how the neighbor relationships have to work here. Right, something like this is forcing all of these tiles to be dark. Yeah, which doesn't work because like we leave all this stuff dark. That means this would have to be lit, uh, lit up, which means this would have to be lit up, which means this would have to be lit up, which we cannot do. I do not see the arrangement that makes this make sense. Uh, it probably, looking at the way the wires run, it probably doesn't actually matter. This is probably not a puzzle that helps us light up that door. It, what it's gonna do is just open this, right? So maybe we don't even need it. What else is around here? It would be nice to be able to open that. If we could get this raft into this position. But I don't see how we would do that. Yeah, there's lots of valid solutions to this puzzle that we can't actually enter. It's like, in theory, a T-shape here would work. And it'd be really cool if we could get it to do that, because we could maybe get it to park us in the top right. But because you have to draw this as a line... I think there's only one legal solution, right? It is it is just that, that like S-shaped path that we drew before. Which means I can't actually use that to move. Yeah, how would I use that to move this thing around? Okay, how about this? We can do a version of that separation. That totally does work and delivers the raft to the bottom center. Is this a valuable place for me to be? I mean, there's stuff down here that does something. The 
reflection tree seems awfully important. Okay, so these are puzzles that have to be solved by walking them. Which means that I'm only going to be able to make one white grouping, right? So I have to be very thoughtful about how I separate these. Yeah, there's not going to be a way to... Right, let me try that again. Which... Which symbols need to be part of the shape? So we have to separate these. That bottom row is definitely a big concern. Okay, so if we want to separate Yeah, see so in order to create a pair of In order to create a pair in the bottom row, I think we have to do some stuff that makes it impossible for us to uh to go back up. Can't have the whole bottom row be all in all on the same side of the shape. What if I do something more like this? Oh, we isolate these up in this corner. There we go. We had to end the path in the bottom between the between the three dots, like that. And then. So I think it's pretty obvious that leaving the two um, orange shapes in the unlit part of the puzzle is not going to work. Because then we're going to have to have unlit shape running all the way across. So it's definitely like... We're going to have the same problem here that we had with the bottom row in the other puzzle. Okay, if we do that, we've got the top part isolated. Mm. Yeah, we can't break it here, but we also can't walk all the way across there. That's tricky. Yeah, no, this is definitely wrong, because then there's no way to, um... There's no way to lock the middle blue dot off from the bottom, middle, and lower left blue dots. And we're going to end up leaving three, um, three blue dots in the top part of the puzzle as well. Is that the first problem to solve? That we have too many blue dots in the top? Because we could try to just claim one of those really early. And then like, right, we're separating this into twos. Ah, but we have this problem again. If I go down from here, we're, we have three one on the bottom. If I go left, then I have to go left again. These are not super intuitive to me. These are, I find these very challenging, which is weird considering like the relative simplicity of them. So when we finish this, we don't have any idea where that power cable is gonna go. This one is presumably gonna move the mine cart so that we can access this area via shortcut.
So we can't tack to the right first to grab the yellow thing there. Uh, as much as it is good to separate these two blue dots by themselves. Because now, how are we going to go back and get the yellow dot without leaving this thing in isolation? And if we cut across and I don't take this, then that's also going to be a problem because we're going to end up locking three, um, three shapes off together. So... What if we just start by locking off these two? We take this. Here we go, here we go. Okay, so now we can get around a little bit easier. Not super valuable. Uh, and okay, this does run from there to, uh, to the power box on the door. So we just have to find the last place it does. And I'm guessing it's the area to our left here. So is there a way that we can get... Let's see here. From this position, we can totally get this thing to stop in the top right. And I don't think the top right itself is of any value to us, but this thing being dropped off in the top right means that we can, from here easily make it drop us off in the bottom left. Okay, easy. Right? See? Look how easy it is. Uh... So far, living up to its name. This one has to remain dark, which means this is one of our pairs for sure. And this has to be the other pair. And then we just have to make sure this is a pair. Hmm. We can't actually separate these very easily, can we? Because these two, if these two are not the same color, then these two have to be the same color. And we have to block that off entirely from the other yellow pieces. But how am I going to do that? All right, did I make a bad assumption somewhere? Because it feels like this puzzle is impossible from the position I was just in. So let me make absolutely sure that I think we have to be in that position. I mean, we can use extra white space extending off of this group to do some blocking, I suppose. But not really though, right? Because this space would have to remain dark so that this space can connect out. And then it's gonna grab this for sure. All of which is to say that this is necessary. might also be a situation where we're figuring out that I don't actually know what the rules are here. Oh, actually, this is totally legal. I was like, for some reason, I was thinking it was not going to be okay to hang an extra space off of this group, even though I was looking to see if it would be fine to hang it off of that group, which is the same thing. It's just kind of late in the day for me, and I didn't sleep enough. That's my excuse. All right, so this thing does not connect to this. The other corner could, though. Well, no, it couldn't. This can't be dark, because with this space being light, this space has to be dark, otherwise this thing doesn't get to build out. 
So I think this actually has to be lit. So this has to remain dark, which means this has to remain dark. This would have to be lit, and this would have to be lit as well. And then, I mean, I think I have to take this with this group to prevent uh, the dark group from overflowing, which means that has to be dark, which means this, right? Yeah, that's all, that's all good pairs. Okay, uh, is it as simple as... Yes, yes it is. That was like immediate intuitive sense there. Uh, this one, so we could do a light shape here to keep these separated. This is dark, dark. This is dark, dark. So we do a light shape out here and then a light shape there and a dark shape there. Oh, sorry, I have to extend this so that these two dark shapes don't connect. But yeah, that looks, it was a nice easy one that we could just follow step by step. And is that? Is that from there running all the way up to? It is. We've opened the door. Okay, just one more and then we've got this area down. Hmm, <clears throat> so. What do we know? Well, we know these two yellow dots have to be the same color. And that color has to be dark. Because if these were both lit, at some point they have to be connected, and then you have a group that has a lit group that has four black spots in it. So these are definitely dark. I'm actually going to use that marking thing to mark the spaces that we know have to not be lit up. Um, I guess this space also has to not be lit up, but that's not super meaningful. So let's see. This has to be dark. If that's the case, this is also dark. And then this has to connect to that other, that other white dot has to be dark as well. And so we're talking about running like the light, uh, white, the light white dot group, like up and around the connection between these, these two white dots that have to be dark. But how though, how is that okay? So we can't, obviously, we can't run the white, uh, the white group, the lit white group through here. This has to remain dark. And we can't run it through here because then we're going to create a group of black dots that are too big, that's too big. So these two are probably, like, the white group definitely connects to here. The question is, how exactly? I guess... We probably don't want it to connect to either of these two. Like, these two basically have to connect to each other, right? In fact, yeah, this one has to have a light neighbor that way. Because the, uh, the spaces in all the other ortho orthogonal directions are already spoken for. So... And this group can't be connected to this group because this group has to contain that lit dark space. So this is definitely also dark. And this ends up like coming through here, wrapping around the one white that we know must be dark and like ends up reaching out down to here around everything else. Pretty fairly confident of that, which means that tells us a lot about this dark group, actually. It has to come through here. No, actually, that's uh, very problematic 
That prevents the two yellows from connecting, doesn't it? Oh, well, maybe not necessarily. If the two yellows connect through, like, here? No, but this, this black has to connect to something. So maybe the idea is that, like... No, this is all separated by itself now, though. And it would have to be dark. So it would have to connect to this, which leaves us no room for the path to run through. Like, that thing seems okay. Something like this. I guess we grab... Yeah, this shape has to grab that piece. And then... Ah, but the yellow, the yellow dots are not connected if we do it this way. We're pretty close. We're pretty close to an answer. Pretty close to something functional. So we can't... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. This is probably also true. In fact, yeah, this shape can only reach this way. So... This doesn't work for obvious reasons of this thing. This has to be connected to something. And I think it has to be connected to this. I think that's the only thing that makes sense. But I believe that does make the pathing impossible. Well, this works, right? Yeah, this this internal group has two black, two yellow, two white. You know, this total this is totally functional. That was actually pretty challenging. And it was it had a nice it has an it had a nice logical deduction sequence in it. That was satisfying to solve. I never did figure this one out, so we can't uh, we can't just walk around however we would like. We could try to make a guess on this. Gosh, except no, not really. How would a six and a three work? There's three white shapes. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'm a little leery of attempting that without running through some kind of tutorial for it. Without discovering some kind of tutorial for it. So I guess let's give this another look here. Uh, we're probably not going to try to do another area. Uh, episode has gotten long enough already. But I don't really know. This would just be convenience, right? So let me get around this thing without having to um, having to spend so much time screwing with the raft. Yeah, I just don't I don't see the good way of breaking up the white dots on the right side. And it's probably fairly obvious to some of you at least, but I am not seeing it. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to not worry about it for right now. I'm going to take my one win for the episode, my uh, our narrow victory here, and just be pleased with that. I think that is where we're going to call it for today. Thank you all so much for watching. I'm digging this so far. I hope y'all are digging it as well. Uh, when you come back next time tomorrow, hopefully we're going to do more than just flail around and narrowly solve a single area. That would be cool. Get our momentum back up. 
and we'll see you then. <laughs>